Alright, so I'm in District 19. Right behind me is a detached home that's below $6.9 million. And in fact, in terms of PSF level, it's only below $900 per square foot. On a three-hole plot, it's going to be something that your family can recreate for multi-generation living. And this is unlike the rest of D19, just within about four and a half minutes walk to Serangoon next mall and MRT station. You're also just about two minutes walk to Serangoon Stadium. We're going to explore this detached together. If you have not seen our previous landed property at Long Rasu, that's a long driveway semi-deep. We talk about how to recreate this long driveway creatively. You might be pondering, hey Melvin, why do some landed homeowners love to purchase landed homes with long driveway land plots? Isn't this going to waste the land in terms of its usability and usage? Now let's have a look at the guidelines for a detached home. If I were to refer to this document, if your detached home doesn't fall into a GCB category, your main site utilization coverage is about 50%. This land plot that I'm standing is 7385 square feet. Long driveway about 1,006 square feet, giving you 5,007 square feet on the rest of the land plot. It has a long driveway of about 33 meters, leaving the rest of the 44 meters towards the inner depth of the home. Width is about 12.5 meters at the back. So if I were to take out these two different share, divide by the asking price right now, 6.9 million, you're just about a 900 odd dollars per square foot. Minusing off 1,006 square feet from this long driveway, you're still just below $1,200 per square foot. So if you talk about PSF level, later I'm going to dissect for you what you can potentially rebuild this home into, a 9,000 plus square feet builder across three and a half stories. Lander home owners usually purchase long driveway lander homes if you have a huge collection of cars. This home allows you to park up to 9 vehicles, it includes parking 2 more vehicles into the slot right behind. If you have functions and events, let's say you only have 3 or 4 vehicles, you can just utilize the front portion of this long driveway, leave the rest of this portion, carpet it with artificial turf, create an, another inner gate that actually acts as a little bit like a privacy screen for your kids and families to play around with. This can actually act as a double kind of usage zone. Long driveway landed properties usually will be having a neighbour on this side, which is fine because this is about 33 metres at the front. On my right hand side, that is Cassia Gambio. That is actually a boutique development. Right across us, there are a couple of shop houses. This is also about one and a half bus stops away towards Covert MRT. There's also one MRT station downwards towards Heartland Mall. So there's a lot of options right here on where you want to go. Your children can just walk back from Serengo MRT station. They can also have multiple buses from Upper Serengo. So in terms of traveling, it's so convenient right here. Externally, there's a storage room right here. There's a nice vintage wooden door that actually matches this arc shape right here. There's still like a little bit of like um, heritage features that I think maybe some of you will love to have. Something to take note is that because the width is fantastic, you still have about 4,007 square feet of land plot on this inner part of the home with a 44 meters land depth that allows you the potential to go up to three and a half storey because we're in a zone that has a 1.4 meters plot ratio. And take note that in terms of price movement, anything that is around a six point something million to seven million dollars range, that falls into a semi-detached kind of category. Even some corner terraces, some new built terraces are already touching six over million dollars. So this presents you an opportunity to rebuild something into your own liking. We have to talk about price first because this price point falls into a sandwich zoning in terms of value. So let me just bring out the three spectrums of landed properties. So in Singapore, we only have 73,000 landed homes and when we zoom into the top two transacted zoning, the most highly sought after area will be D15 as well as D10 because D10 is considered the king of schools. D15 is near to the East Coast Belt, it's near to the seaside. When you come to D19, this is one of the largest enclaves that covers spectrums like Coven, Upper Serangoon, Serangoon, as well as Serangoon Gardens. What people love about here is that you can travel to so many places so conveniently. If I look at inter-terraces, 
And all Inter Terrace right now is at $4 million for Cat 1 home, meaning homes that are meant for rebuild. If you look at Category 4 homes, brand new Inter Terraces, they are touching the $5 over million dollars to $6 million mark depending on the land size. Semi D homes and oldish Semi D homes that are meant for tear down and rebuild is at about $5 odd million. If you touch the Cat 4 homes, they are around the range of probably about $7 million thereabout. If you come to the next category, detached plot really depends on how huge the land plot is. Even in D19, that can actually go all the way up from about $6 over million to about $10 odd million. So when you look at this price point, this home currently belongs not to the Cat 1 category because it's technically in the shape and age that you can actually move in with renovation. I would say that this falls into a Cat 2.5 home, homes are meant for A and A, and Cat 3 homes are about 10 to 15 year old home. Because when we talk to our architects and builders, for those of you who don't want to go through the 24 months of rebuild, this can be a good option for you to come in, renovate with about 800 to 900,000 dollars, and after six months, you can move in straight on. Seven bedrooms, eight bathrooms, all the bedrooms are ensuite three levels. You have a granny room on level one, beautiful outer turf area, external car porch zoning because you already have a long driveway for four cars, living, dining, wet kitchen. If I were to talk about the future plans, because you bought this place below $6.9 million, reasonable PSF, you have future upside potential if you want to add value to the home. So let me just talk a little bit about the rebuild costing. If I take about $350 per square foot, you tear it down, pump in 9,000 square feet in terms of build up area, that will bring you close to about three odd million dollars. You add that back to about six over million dollars, your total cost will still be slightly below 10 million. Seven to eight bedroom, you can put in a lift, you can put in a pool as well, multiple car parking zoning. So we transact home with PLB, the lender report with our proposed plans and pricing for rebuild are thrown in for the eventual buyer. The key functionality is to buy a landed property with a nice sizable quantum first because that allows you to get into a detached plot. You're going for one of the largest landed property that is available in the market. Let me just bring you quickly through the plans on how potentially this can look like after renovation. Let's roll the clips. Okay, so as you come to level 2, if you want to come for the physical view, you will need to peer through here because this is what we mean by future potential. So when you have things going on in your neighborhood, that is fantastic because that creates more vibrancy in terms of transaction value. This was the entire stretch of 15 shop houses that was being acquired, that was being teared down. If you were to refer to this article, the developers are contemplating whether to make it into a co-living space or service apartment. And just by looking at this, you already know what developers are thinking in terms of this zoning. Why would a developer want to build a co-living space or service apartment here? The precise reason is because the location is fantastic. So near to the MRT station, there's also going to be a healthcare centre right there, government polyclinic right opposite Serangoon next mall. And if you look at the transacted prices of the condominium across the street, Forest Woods, PSF level doing fantastically well, 99 years. Right across that is also the Minton, he's also doing fantastically well for his PSF level for the 99's condo. So when you come to this freehold plot, this is something with future rental potential as well. If you want to retire after buying this home, maybe after your kids has grown up, you want to make it into maybe like a dual key function. How do I make a dual key using a landed property? Is you use the lift to create that dual key functionality because the lift can actually go to different levels with access cards and that can be done. We're going to talk more if you come for the physical view. I'm going to show you the master room first. So all rooms right now are ensuite. Of course, the master is front-facing this northeast direction. The rooms here are huge in size. This room actually is a combination of three spaces. There's a, like a living zoning. 
there's a study area, there's a walk-in area, ensuite, and this is your resting zone. Level 2, of course, presents you all parquet flooring. And if you come here, the stairway are being done by the traditional design of nice wooden features. You also have a huge bedroom right at the back. Ensuite, as you can see, this room is so huge that you can have a dressing table, study zoning, there's a gym, walk-in wardrobe. There is a room right in the center portion. So these are the three bedrooms on level 2. Level 3 has also another three bedrooms. They're all ensuite. I'm gonna roll a 10 second clip for you to visualize how the exterior will look like. Let's go. So I'm in level three. The back facing of this landed home faces another landed property that's front facing towards Boundary Road. Right across us, there's the Paliba Methodist Church. There's a kindergarten and childcare right at level one. Anything within this zoning is so exciting because Serangoon Next Mall is one of the largest mall in the entire enclave. It has 680 over 1,000 square feet of retail space. Let me just give you a context of the size of malls here. Woodleigh Mall, the new integrated development that was just completed and that is one station down from Serangoon MRT. That is about 300,000 square feet of retail space. That's about half the size of Serangoon Next Mall. Compass One is about 270,000. Salita Mall is about 170,000. So this is indeed the largest mall that you're living right next to. Why is that important? Is because if you look at Serangoon Next Mall, that is the main pivot area of the D19 zone. It's integrated with the MRT station and Serangoon MRT is an interchange of Northeast Line as well as Circle Line and that brings you to almost all parts of Singapore. This part of D19 is already at the boundary line towards Woodleigh which is a start point of the City Fringe region. So that is how close we are and from Upper Serangoon Road you can just travel towards Bugis almost immediately at Levent you cut through Lavender. The front room for level 3 is also huge in nature. It has a walk-in wardrobe, ensuite, resting zone. And when you buy this, you're buying the land. Add so much more value whether you're going to re-renovate it, you're going to rebuild it. Come in at this quantum first, which is below 6.9 million. Detached freehold, I think that's an awesome choice. Alright, so let's talk a little bit about the current structure of the home. After you tear down, you can go up to four different levels. Level one will be of course your main hall, dining, dry, wet kitchen, laundry space. You guys are gonna build your lift shaft, your storage zoning, and then you go towards level two, level three, and the attic level. This plot right here allows you to go up to 15.5 meters in terms of total envelope height. There's no need to build a basement. Basement costs two times more than what you're building on top of your land when it comes to rebuild costs or reconstruction costs. Usually people will adopt building a basement in a two-story landed zone but this is not a two-story landed zone. It allows you to go up to three and a half so there's no need to build a basement. You can save a little bit more cost on that. So if you want to have a look at this home, give a call to our listing managers, George and Christina. Their numbers are right here. You can also click on the link towards our PLB landing page on PropTillingBrothers.com. That will tell you a lot more details about this home. And once again, my name is Melville Lim, Prop Brothers. As always, happy to show the place. And meantime, take care. Hi. Let's do it. Salita Mall is about 175,000 square feet. Compass One... Hey, sorry, Paul, go with. Okay, so roll 10 seconds of renovation. Interior? Yeah, interior renovation. Okay. <laughs> Hello? Hey guys. <laughs> <laughs>